Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. This is Old Car Auto Guy, and today we're going to tint the headlights and taillights on Old Grandma. So stay tuned. So I guess there's a couple of things that we can do is take the headlights and the park lights out and spray them on the bench. Same thing with the tail lights. But where everything is so undercoated inside, I don't want to get them contaminated with grease. And besides, it looks like it's kind of a big job. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a roll of tape and we're going to tape everything off and then we'll mask the rest of the car and we'll get the cleaning and spraying. So that's what we're going to do. Now we'll do the same thing to the tail lights. So the next step is we got to get everything clean that we're going to be spraying with some isopropyl alcohol and you're going to do that with a clean rag and uh, make sure it's clean. And the reason why we're using isopropyl is because it's going to get rid of any wax residue that might be left over on here from when we uh, buff the car and, and uh, cleaned it all up. It kind of dissolves them bugs that are on there as well. And because it's alcohol, it evaporates quickly. And some of you might be saying, but Jason, what about that condensation inside the lens? Well, guess what? I don't care because I'm going for a look, not necessarily a function. Even some of you have commented about whether or not I should be going and doing the headlights because you won't be able to see at night. Well, again, look over function. So once we get this all cleaned up, we're gonna start spraying. And like I said, I'm not going real dark on the front anyway, anyways. We'll do like maybe two coats, see how it looks, maybe a third. Okay, so we are ready to spray on our nightshade and uh, we are going to spray it on lightly and do several light coats as opposed to a heavy coat. We don't want it to run, we want it to be even. And it does say to shake it really well, like up to a minute uh, before we use it, which is typical of any spray bomb. So let's get going. And that's all we're gonna do for that first coat. I'm gonna go around the other side and do it. So now we're ready to give the back a spray and see what kind of uh, difference it makes when you're painting on already a darker surface. So let's do it. Due to the fact that it's super warm out today, like it's in the like high 80s and it's very humid, it's taking a little while longer for this stuff to set up. I do have three coats on, on all four lights, and I'm gonna have to leave it here overnight. So when we come in in the morning, we'll unmask it and give you the big unveiling. But I'm gonna do a quick walk around right now so you can take a peek. So on camera, it almost looks like it's black, but you can actually see through it because it is transparent and you can see the red in there. And we come up front and we're running into the same thing where it looks like it's black. However, you can still see the transparent lenses in behind. So as we make our way over to the shop truck to get the AC pumped up on that thing, we will catch you back here in the morning and give you a full update and unveil. Unveil? Unveil. Yeah, we'll unveil it instead of unveil it. Veal sounds like murdering a small cow or something I don't know anyways we'll do that and uh, we'll check back with you all right so it is the next morning and we are getting ready to take a look at the finished product everything is dry I do have one complaint let's take a look so I'm not sure if the camera does it any justice or not but we've been awful dull finish a matte finish on this headlight specifically Over here, it doesn't seem to be too bad. So I'm not sure if it wasn't that I wasn't getting a heavy enough coat on it for it to level out, but I've got a solution for it. Let's take a look at the rear. Back here, everything looks really, really good. I'm impressed with how the back came out because it does have a natural gloss to it. Looks like it was supposed to have been done that way. 
So what I'm going to do is I am going to use a spray bomb clear coat on each of the front headlights. And the reason why I'm doing both is because I want it to look uniform. And we'll see how that turns out. And then we'll get to unmasking everything. Some of you may be asking, why didn't I just go over it with another coat of this? Well, I don't want to go any darker, so clear coat it is. So because that is wet, we're gonna to go to the back of the car and get tearing apart that mask. All right, now that we've got this thing out in the daylight, let's take a look. Besides the exhaust is probably the second most exciting thing I think that I've done with this car. I'm very happy with the way it came out and there's only one more thing that I think I want to do to top everything off with the aesthetic look of this car. And should I come back to this grill one more time, tape it off and go with the black insert just like the Marauder does. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So all that's left now, guys, is to give this thing a bath and get it cleaned up. I did see some overspray in a few areas, so we're gonna get that cleaned up and uh, should be as good as new. I'm probably not gonna worry about it right now simply because we are calling for rain for the next three days. Yikes, hopefully it doesn't pour into the weekend. Also, guys, I know there's some of you out there who I have promised old car auto guy stickers to and I haven't done it yet. There's a reason behind that, simply because at one of the last car shows that I went to, I gave them all out. I've only got a couple left. I wanted to keep a few on hand for some special occasions. So I do apologize for that and I will be getting them out to you as soon as I get the stock replenished. Secondly, Sussex Beard Oil is always a sponsor of this video. I hope you'll be able to check them out and take a look at what they have to offer for bearded and non-bearded guys. Their link is in the description box below. Car Guy and Six Fan show is tonight and let me know what you think of the Car Guy and Six Fan show. Is there things that you want to see, things that are different, uh, something you want us to cover as part of a topic of conversation? Let me know in the comment section below or go over to my Instagram at Old Car Auto Guy and follow me over there. We do a lot of posting over there as well. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again in the next episode.